Hey, what's going on? Uh, today I picked up my Langmuir Systems Crossfire XR 4x8 Plasma CNC. And I was just gonna start and do an unboxing video. I know that I'm the first one to get one. I'm gonna start with uncrating it and uh, we'll just go from there. The overall experience today was really good. Picking it up at Langmire. Uh, they were very helpful getting everything loaded up. It comes in two crates. One 630 pounds. And the other one is around 200 pounds. It was easy to put in the trailer with two people. The, I was about to rip into this with a crowbar. But I noticed that it looks like it's all tabbed together. So I'm going to unfold all these tabs and see if I can just unfold the box. All right, guys, so I was right about the tabs. I was able to just jam a screwdriver under there, pry it up, smack it up with a hammer, get it flat, and it all just came apart. I'm sure there's a better way to do it. I've never really gotten a crate like that before that was tabbed together. I'm sure there's a better way. I'm sure someone will put it in the comments how you're really supposed to do it, but that's how I did it and it worked. I have the instructions. Step one or step zero is uncrating and inventorying. They brought it up on the forum. You have seven, you're supposed to have seven days to check and make sure that you have everything you're supposed to have. So that's the first step is I'm gonna go through the, the long box and I'm because it has the least amount of pieces. I'm gonna pull them out, make sure they're all there. And I'll, I'll point to them, show you guys. And then I'm probably gonna throw them back in the box until I get ready to put this thing together. So I'll have room to pull out the big box and unpack it. There's a lot of stuff in there, but most of them are boxed into sub assemblies. So shouldn't be that many. Okay, I had to go back and look through the instructions to try and figure this out. It says that there's six items in the long crate. I found 10. Uh, the first one is the upper longitudinal channel packing assembly. I had to go figure out what that was. Those are the big rails. They go on the top of the, the long side. The Y-axis rails, these are these two tubes. That's, uh, that's what the gantry is going to ride on. The two ball screw assembly, that's what it's going to push with. And then an X-axis ball screw. But it doesn't mention the, what they call the upper longitudinal channels are also in there. And there's some threaded rod for some reason that I can't seem to figure out. But it's in there. Um, the biggest note is be careful. The threaded rods are packed inside the tubes and you don't want to ding those up or bend them when you're taking everything apart. So I'm going to pack this back and we'll move on to the next one. All right, guys, so I hate to be moving around like this, but I, I just can't figure out a better way to shoot it. With my crappy tripod, I can't seem to get far enough away. First thing is the front fascia packing assembly. 
And that's really a cool thing about this. Let me see if I can flip you guys around and show you. It's in a solid piece, steel, where they bent it. The two, the front and the back are bolted together and for shipment. But that's gonna make assembling it so much easier to not have to put legs on and try and square them and all that jazz. This should make it way easier, I think. The second item is the table slat bundle. They're right back there. Two bundles of slats. Oh, what's next? The uh, X-axis cable tray. It's right here. One piece, steel, folded. Looks a little bent. Probably fix that pretty easy. Uh, the next thing, touch screen monitor. I'm assuming this is it. This is one of the few things that weren't labeled is this uh, box, but it says 21.5. I'm pretty sure that's a monitor. Um, the gantry tube, the X drag chain, the Y drag chain. Uh, the rest of these are panels. Let me turn you on. What I meant to say, the rest are sub-assemblies. There is the XZ axis carriage. That's all gonna go together at the same time. I like how they nested all the parts in the, the parts of assembly that you're gonna be doing. Uh, the water table slot holder, those are actually up there. Two bundles of those. Uh, there's two bundles for the water tray. There's two with closed ends, two uh, middle pieces. That's what that means. Uh, the mis miscellaneous steel bracket sub box right there. Um, controller computer, THC sub extent. Where is that? Oh yeah, right over there. Uh, Crossfire XR hardware sub box. There it is. I didn't see it. It's right there, the hardware box. There's a couple other boxes. Uh, one's labeled miscellaneous parts. Um, the electronics enclosure. And the uh, gantry upright assembly. I didn't see it on the list. But I may have just missed it. Trying to go through all this. So, that's everything. Everything seems to be here. Uh, I'm not bring, breaking apart the sub-assemblies to check. I'm going to wait until I assemble it. Um, plan on having it done by the end of the weekend. So I think it'll go pretty quick as few pieces as there are in the base. I think that'll be the, the hardest part is getting the base up and then getting the gantry running. I think that'll go together pretty well. Anyways, I hope this helps. If you have any questions, let me know.